I'm Dudley. And welcome to episode 100. This episode 100. We've I know. I, I felt like long. I needed to shout because for the bonus episodes, I haven't been shouting a lot because we were in a hotel know, room. Because we were in a hotel room. We didn't want bar. The, the neighbors but, recording at yeah. midnight. At <laughs> midnight, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Welcome. We are freshly back from PAX. Yes. And, and I'm very sly. I'm very tired. Very sly. I'm very, very sleepy. Very sleepy on the sly. <laughs> I'm sly on the sleep. Uh, shy on sleep. Sly. I wanted sly. Oh, okay. I said sly. I wanted to say sly. All right, then. Uh-huh. Um, if you say so. How uh, you feeling? I'm okay. Yeah. I had a coffee, so I'm, I'm, I'm I doing had, okay. I had a cafe. A cafe. A cafe. Yes. I'm very, uh... Very fancy. Uh, um... <laughs> Pack South. Pack South was a joy. Yes, as always. As it's always. Our fourth year going. Fourth year. Fourth year. Fourth pa- Pack South. Mm-hmm. And our fourth year going to Pack South. Yes. Yes. So we've been to all of them. We have been to all of the Pack South. Yes. And they have all been awesome. Yes. They've and been uh, to- yeah. We played a um, ton of games. You, I'm sure you all have listened to our, our bonus episodes. Maybe. I maybe you, not, maybe you did. Maybe, maybe you just skipped to this one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Go back and listen to those. We talk about what games we play yeah. day one and day yeah. two. Um, yeah. And we'll talk about what we played day three. Yeah. And then um, uh, beyond. Yeah. Um, and past. Well, we didn't really play a ton of games today. We only played one. <laughs> we we ended up only playing one. Yes. We uh, we sat down with Brob. Brob. And we played Vast, Vast, the Crystal, the Crystal Cavern. Cavern. Yeah, because, because, it, because he had not played it. He had not played and he wanted to. He'd heard us on this show talking about it. Uh-huh. And he was just like, I so would So our like show is doing what it yeah. should. Yeah. It's it, uh, intriguing people uh-huh. of, he, of, he of said that we have played and talked about and like. He, he he came to us and said, Vast, the Crystal Cavern, I'll have some of that, please. Yes. <laughs> and we said yes, and then we served it to him. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, um, nice and warm. Yes. Uh, so we, we played it. Yeah, the uh, three of us. Yeah, we all played new things. Yes. Because Rob, Rob had never played, so Robert. ever any of it was new. Yeah. And he got he played the goblins, which is probably the most probably complicated. <laughs> one of the more complicated and uh, harder to to learn. So I don't really fully. Understand I've never how played it. I have not played them. He either. did good. He did. He did well. He um, was actually. I thought he might win. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you played. Play, you I, played the cavern. I played the the cave. The cave. And then you played the knight. <laughs> I did. And so the, you were trying to kill, or get the crystals. I was trying to break crystals and get out. And the goblin was trying to kill you. Uh-huh. And I was trying to kill everybody. And you were trying to keep us fighting for, um, until you crushed us. It was pretty close. It, it was fairly it might, close. It would have been closer had I not messed up. Yeah, you weren't playing your full abilities. <laughs> yeah, I, I was supposed to put a... A cave tile every turn. Yeah, and I didn't. You get a freebie. I forgot about that. Yeah, you just like, were, weren't doing it. <laughs> and so I wasn't. and I didn't notice because I was trying to make sure I was doing all my stuff yeah. right. Well, I was still to... placing tiles. Yeah. I was just using my omen tokens yeah. to do it. Yeah, and to so, get your extra ones. So I it, the cave would have started collapsing. Yeah. Um. Instead but, of but I, yeah, all, I was right on the edge of it yeah. by the end of the game. So yeah, but, uh, uh, I ended up winning. You end up winning. Uh, you, you I got your I, five crystals. I thought I wasn't going to win because I only, at one point I only had like two crystals and I yeah. had like three or four health. Well, and, and I because like, oh. I wasn't, you know, playing my tokens down, allowing me to play wherever I wanted to, uh, I I I was clumping. I ended up clumping a lot of those crystals, mm-hmm. and so it made it easy for you <laughs> a little bit. But yeah. you know that it happens. Like I played the, uh, when every seemed like every time I play the cave. Even though I thought I shuffled up the the tiles really well, I still end up with like back to back crystals in the white. Yeah, mm. which if you you reveal a, a a lot of if someone reveals a tile and you have to place a lot of them, yeah. you end up putting them near each other. Yeah, and that's not fun. Yeah, but um, it's still a great game. It is fun. It's a beautiful game. It's, it's yes, a lot of fun. It's fun We've yeah. talked about it in the past. Yes. It's some people came awesome. by while we were playing. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, is at least vast? like three different people walked by. Oh, they're playing Vast, Vast, the Crystal Cavern. Yes, like a couple of people made comments about it, and then yeah. one person one kind of got stopped. It's like, oh yeah, it's that Crystal Cavern game. Is it? Is yeah, it good? We, and we're like, yeah, we, yeah, we like it a lot. We gave our recommendation. Yeah, um, and uh, so maybe they went on to play it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe 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 they, maybe they didn't. Um, we we played a game last night. Be you know after we recorded yes. the show. Because yes. uh, uh, we mentioned we got the Star Wars Destiny, Destiny starter Star. set, the new ones. We actually played it Friday night. Um, no, you're right. We played it last night. Last night. <laughs> you're right. Uh, uh, 
And uh, yeah, so I, I got I got the Boba Fett. Set. No, it was Friday. It mm-hmm. was it was Friday night. It was after Robert had arrived. It Maybe fr- yeah, and so oh yeah, because we did buy it the first. We day. did the first episode. We just didn't talk about we it. We just in the second, yeah, we just in completely the forgot bonus. about talking about it in the the bonus the yeah. day two bonus episode because we were ex- excited about other yeah. stuff. We were yeah, we just kind of forgot because it was the night on before the game that we didn't like. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So if you haven't listened to them, we talk about it. We we spend some time talking about a game we didn't enjoy. Yes, which we don't do very often. No, we generally like you know. I think we mentioned that, that we tend to talk about the things we enjoy or we want to t- tell people about because yeah. that's what we're – I mean, we obviously picked and played it for a reason, but we don't just – you know, except at PAX and other uh, opportunities, do we jump, get to jump into a game and not yeah, have a game. Know nothing we about. know nothing about it and just try it. And we, we stumbled a little bit. Yeah, but, but don't – for considering all the games we played, that's I, the only one that wasn't any good. I blame Trey. The third man. Yes, he was. He's been he with usually, us every year for PAX, yes. and he is a masterful uh, chooser of board picker. game. He's a game picker. picker. He's a good picker. Yeah, he's an American picker. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, we can't say that. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, uh, he and he always goes. We I don't know why he just became the he's chooser. Really good. At he makes the, he's the decider. Yeah, and uh, so we so, usually let him just go pick a game, bring it to us, and go. We're playing this. And we're yeah. like, okay, and he's always pick really good ones. Yeah, and he picked it, it, full without, gold. He yeah. Picked, uh, well, Cult Express was we saw somewhere else. Yeah, but, uh, um, it, it, several yeah. good solid games. Dixit we tried out for, yeah. because he grabbed it. There's um, with tons of games. If you go back and back, he bought. Yeah, and then we played it. So yeah. you know he he yeah he's, he's been, really good at finding good games. Yes, and so he wasn't here this year, yeah. despite us us trying to get him to come. Tried, trying uh, to to shame yes. if, you're, if you're listening to us, yes. the third man. Shame. Yeah. Feel you shame could, right you now. You could have saved us from the... You could have spared us the, from, from <laughs> the terrible game the, <laughs> that we shall not name. Yeah. Uh, something of Cthulhu. I don't yeah, really remember anymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Cultures of Cthulhu. That's it. Crap of Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> Bad writing of instructions. Yeah. It might be a good game. You just it might be a good under, game. We just, just couldn't, couldn't figure, figure it out. how to play it. And there and were the things we that were... That we were like, okay, we, we messed we, up we, and we were, don't want to play it We anymore. were discovering how to, to get information from the cards... As by just looking at co- different pictures of them, and without re- it didn't explain that in the rules yeah. how to, to, to be able to tell what kind of difficulty the cards were. We just figured that out, and we're yeah. like, "This is dumb." There's just a lot of things left unsaid that yeah. needed to be said. Yeah, um, sure. so it, it made for a confusing yeah, experience, I, and we probably will never play it ever no, again. No, no, I do uh, not. I'm, yeah. I'm over it. Yeah, uh, we're done. So. Yeah. You had your chance, and Wait, blew it. Yeah, anyway, we played uh, Star Wars Destiny. Star Wars Your Destiny. first game. First game of Star Wars uh, Destiny. You had the Luke Skywalker deck. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, Luke Star Skywalker Kit. and uh, Han-, Han Solo. Han Solo, yeah. Um, and then uh, I had the Boba Fett yes. uh, Stormtrooper, yes. veteran Stormtrooper yes. uh, It was deck. a close game. It was a good, good close game. Yes, I uh, almost had you. You almost had me, but you did not. I did not. I, I, I kept up my very strong winning streak throughout the whole PAX yeah. uh, event. Yes. I won a lot. Mm-hmm. I won Star Wars Destiny. Yeah. I won Push Fight. Yeah. I won Tack. Yeah. I won. I'm just gonna go to sleep. I won. And just keep uh, rattling. I off won this. Star Wars Destiny. I won Vast. Mm-hmm. I I won a lot. I won everything. No. It was nothing but winning for me. Okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> um. Anyway. Anyway. So we played Vast. Yeah. Robert enjoyed it. Yes, he did. Rob. Brob. I think it got his stamp of approval. Yeah. Um he, he I think he he greatly enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Um, um but uh just quick recaps games we recommended that we played this year. Mm-hmm. We, you mentioned a few Push Fight. Push Fight. Um, uh, Tack were Tack the two big ones I took away. Are, were, yeah, games great. I've been tr- wanting to try out for years. Um and finally got to try and they are wonderful. Uh, I'm, the, I'm considering at some point buying copies of them. Yeah, for Tack itself is great. And yes, it, it's great. It would, it's it a would, beautiful game. I'd like to get that one. A beautiful game. A beautiful yes. game. Um, the and then we also uh, a world game. championship Russian roulette. Yeah, a lot of fun. And I didn't realize it until I was you know writing the mm-hmm. the post for the uh, uh, not the post but the the Twitter mm-hmm. uh, link the social media the social media links, portion yeah. of our up upload uh-huh. um, that it's made by uh, Tuesday Night Games. Yeah, who also made uh, uh, two rooms of a boom. Yeah, so yeah, we, sh- so, we should have yeah. known it was good. Make on a, them. Good on them. Good on them. They got two good games, so it's not yeah. just. A I'm wild. sure they have others. I'm sure they do. I don't know what they but are. But those are the two we know about. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah. yeah, so you know, if you haven't played either of those, check them out. Yeah. So what do you think of uh, Star Wars Destiny? Star Wars. Now Destiny. that you have actually. 
put some cards on a table and play. It's fun. Yeah. 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 Um, but here's the issue I had. I've never been played a. I've never been big in deck building games. Mm-hmm. Like that one is fine because it was already made. Mm-hmm. You've never had a big deck. I've never gotcha. <laughs> I've never had to make a deck for yeah. deck building. Yeah, I've never done that. Yeah, and I don't know if I'm that interested in doing it. Well, the I, 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 I I'm gonna stop go, you right there. Hold let's on, play. because well, like with the starter kit, it's really easy to yeah. do that. Um, but I will offer you this counter. This is like as far as deck building is super easy. Okay. Uh. Because I, I mean, there's not a lot, it's not complicated. You yeah. pick your character, you pick yeah, your heroes you, mm-hmm. or, or your villains, whatever you're playing, and you know you pick thirty points worth of them, and then you have thirty cards, and you can only have two of each type of card. So basically, you just you know say I'm playing this character, and but these how cards do you seem know to it's going to be any good. We well, try it out. Uh, you just I just want it to be good, and I want to play. You 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 you. <laughs> It, it becomes apparent because the cards are real simple, really easy yeah. to look at and figure it out. And you just put together a deck. Or, better yet, you go to uh, Star Wars. Internet. Yeah, there's a, play, <laughs> a website called uh, Star Wars. I think it's called Star Wars Database. Let me look it up. Yeah. Star and, Wars Destiny. If you search Star Wars Destiny Database. Okay. You and will they tell find... you what to make, what to put in a deck. Yeah, uh, I'm going to find it. Hold on. Okay. What? Okay. Star- SWDestinyDB.com. And they have deck lists. They have card lists that show you like what comes in what sets. They also they like you can see what other people's deck. You can put together your deck and your inventory or whatever, and it's awesome. It's really useful. I kind of tend to do. I have my binder, yeah, and I start just pulling and counting and doing all that. But if you can get your inventory on there, you can kind of build decks from there, and you can look what other people like. I want to make you pick, pick characters you like, and you're and like, I want to make it this with these characters, and then look at what p- other people are doing, and then you know build off of that. So you don't have to put a lot of time yeah. or effort into it. I don't but know. we'll see. And then, like I said, I enjoyed it because you know I'll, I'll build a deck, and then I'll go and play it and kind of get a feel for how it plays, and then tweak it. Yeah, and that's that's what you lot did last fun. week. Yeah, I I did play. We never did talk about it, but um, well, we haven't. Yeah, because we've been talking about pack stuff, but. Yeah, I played. I built a Kylo Ren uh, Vader deck, and uh, I got. I gave. Uh, I gave him a go. I think I, we played two or two or three rounds. Yeah, I think, yeah two games. I yeah. lost all of them. <laughs> Though the first off. one was close. They were all fairly close. Yeah. Um. But it. I need. A, I need a little more for that deck. I need to boost it a little bit. I need to to get stuff that move resources because I yeah. kind of had resource problems for a lot of it. And uh, but it's it's not bad. It was an okay deck. I yeah. just need to tweak it a little bit. It's a losing deck though. It is currently a losing deck. Yep. <laughs> um. So I uh I I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak it. I know a few things that cards I'd like to get to add to it yeah. that would make it better. But I also have some other cards now as well. So yeah. I, I I'm gonna probably. Look well, I at just realized building. we never went back and you didn't. I guess you decided not to buy any cards. I did not. I I was going to, but then I was, I wasn't sure where my money was. And so, and then I, it occurred to me that I was going to have to buy some gas, yeah. and uh, so I was like, um, and I ended up buying Just a shirt, wait. and I'm going to wait. I'm, I'll probably, maybe next week or so, uh, once I, I get another paycheck, order, I may, order, I may your, order make, a, a, make a few, an order of a few cards. Yeah. But I also want to look at my other, build some, I, I realized that, like, those were cards I needed for that Kylo, for a Jedi deck. Yeah. Uh, or a Sith deck, really. Um, and... I just was like, well, do I want to spend a bunch of money on cards for that specific deck, or do I want to wait and uh, kind of build some other deck and see what kind of yeah, where I want to go? Too. So I, I was kind of I decided to wait. Okay. Uh, I was super tempted though. Yeah, I I I, I was, just completely forgot because I you know I know you had been talking yeah. about it and then uh, and then we were like I we kind of were making our way out. And, yeah, and then I did I didn't even think about it until just yeah. now that we didn't even go back and look. No, yeah, I I made the decision okay. not to go back. Well, I, I wanted to, I wanted to look, but I, it's like good. I said, the I, first step is saying no. <laughs> I, mean, I, I did and then was admitting you have a problem. E- even deciding not to buy individual cards, I was tempted to go buy some more some boosters. boosters. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, Ugh. and uh, but yeah. Now we now we both have another starter set to um, to so we can play some. Well, yeah, we should play some more. So, yeah. I mean, so you can get a feel for that deck, and and then uh, I might have some enough cards. Maybe you can add to them. That'd be cool. I'll see. I'll have to look through what yeah. I what hero cards I have. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so maybe you can build it up into a full deck and yeah. have fun. Uh, while you were playing uh, Destiny with mm-hmm. uh, Gary, yes, I was playing Guild Ball. Yeah. with John Dorsey. Yeah, who I've never played before. You'd never played against. I had never played against John Dorsey. Oh, 
It um, seems it like was you the first time. It seems like you played him against. Bruno. Um, no, I played you. I played Gary, but mm. John was in and out a lot. Yeah, and so and every yeah. time it, we it was you two were playing. Me mm. and him were just making models. Yeah, we were working on our models, and so we would just sit there, you know, while y'all and talk and and work and and uh, and uh, discuss things, and uh, while you and Gary played. Yeah. Um. Uh, and because we weren't sure John was going to be there or not, <clears throat> and yeah. Uh, but yeah, so me and him played. Yeah, it was a. F- I had my fishermen's. Yeah, uh, as usual, and he was playing a new set of uh, brewers. Yeah, that he had gotten from uh, Gary, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and he had painted them, and he or mostly painted them. And he, yeah, they were on the table. They were, they were looking pretty good. Um, and yeah, and uh, it was a good game. It, it it's looked probably, like it was pretty good. It was probably the best game I played. Oh yeah, it was just nice. It, well, in terms of fun. Yeah. I mean, not like I just did amazing thing. It's yeah. just we did a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, and it was a really tight game. Yeah, until John missed the goal. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he he pulled out like a crazy maneuver, and I was like, oh, he's gonna score. Yeah, and he like everything was lining up uh-huh. perfectly, and, and then, all he had to do was just roll a success on the and goal, the, and then the dice fucked him, <laughs> and he got fucked by the dice. <laughs> and it just and I I was like I had already was already planning my contingency. Uh-huh. I was like, I'm gonna kick the ball back out. Uh-huh. What am I? Where am I want to put it? And I was already planning yeah. for him to score, yeah, um, which would have put us tied, yeah. And he missed, yeah. So I was already that just that com- messed. Through, that just set him back, yeah, and they set him back. Uh huh. And he was recovering quickly yeah. though. Um, but so, uh, so did you end up winning? Yes, I won. Yeah, very well, nice. We, fi- we didn't think we were going to finish it because we were both moving pretty slow. Yeah, but we y'all finished- started. It took y'all a little while to get going. Yeah, we were both right. Gary it's and I a- were cranking through a bunch of games. It's been months since we both uh-huh. played, and he hadn't played with the Brewers uh-huh. yet. Um, and uh, I had I was a little rusty. Yeah. Um, but we had a blast, yeah. and uh, I did some fun stuff. I scored twice in the first round. Yeah. Which I thought was impressive. I don't know if it is, but yeah. uh, and then he uh. He- he scored. Oh, he scored first, and then I scored twice. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, somehow. But uh, but and we we wrapped it up in the second round, and and I it I scored with my biggest character. Oh yeah, <laughs> my biggest slowest character. Yeah, nice. uh, uh, the Kraken. Uh, and he, he he. Well, I guess he's not the worst. The uh, the uh, the seal uh, uh, salt is 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 a terrible kicker. Yeah, but uh, Kraken's not. Not a bad great either, but he he got the winning goal, mm-hmm. so it worked out pretty good. Um, it was it was a fun game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I was fun, I I had fun playing with John. Yeah, because um, he he pulls out some some he, moves. He does some cool stuff. He pulls out some moves yeah. on me, and I was like, yeah. wow. John, like, John doesn't mess around. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. There was a couple of times where he was just like. Like, all geared up to do stuff. I was like, yeah. why is he doing that? He could just yeah. do this. And then he realized what he wanted to do he couldn't do because of one. He couldn't get the ball and do what he wanted. Yeah. And then he, he, he realized what I was thinking. So he, mm. he, he got there. Yeah. But uh, uh, it was fun. I, was fun. I definitely want, Both of us definitely want to play some more guild ball. Yeah. yeah. I, I I always get the itch when yeah. I watch y'all play. Well, I watch other people play or yeah. we get back in the cycle. Yeah. He was uh, talking about He goes, I, I'm ready to play some more, yeah. more guild ball. I'm ready. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah. So I hope next time he comes out, we'll yeah, probably we'll do have to get another yeah. game. game in. I need to get the uh, the the blacksmiths on the table. Uh, yes. So yes, we've point. discussed that. Yeah. Uh, while y'all were doing that, we played a couple. We played a bunch of games. You played like uh, three games. Yeah, we, we played played a, a couple of games of. Uh, I can't remember if it was two or three. Uh, I think it was only two of um, Star Wars Destiny. Yes. Uh, and then uh, we did a. He showed me the, a new game. And I'm not sure. I need to play it again. Yeah. Because apparently it was a little weird. And I didn't get a full grasp of it, but it was called, it's called Warhammer Underworld Shade Spire. That's, a, that's it, a mouthful. Yeah. It's it's a Warhammer game. Uh-huh. And uh, it's a... Yeah, I saw it. It's like a, no a real small, on. like, single combat type, like, team combat, Yeah, you know, board game box thing it's like it's a little weird uh i didn't fully get a grasp of it in fact i almost forgot about it until you were we were talking about playing guild ball and i remember what i was doing at the same time i need to get another game yeah in, to, before, before you can I have can't a, really, a i don't opinion. have enough information to, to really give an opinion yeah uh, it, it it seemed interesting yeah but 
apparently weird thing, like, something normally that don't, doesn't happen very often, but I, like, rushed up and killed his leader and was basically going to wipe his team fairly quickly, uh-huh. and that doesn't always happen, and, and so he was like, well, yeah, you basically won that one. And it's meant to be, like, quick, fast, like, uh-huh. you know, you pay, in, in tournament setting, settings, you're supposed to pay, like, play, like, three rounds, right, three games, as opposed to, you know, Just one won. big game. And so it's supposed to be really quick, so it went quick, and it got to the point where it's basically, I was in a, it was a, a no-lose scenario for me. Uh-huh. So I was like, but I didn't fully get a grasp of you the game no idea. before you just won that happened. out of sheer, like... Uh, I did. Yeah, this, I I, I set out like a goal perfectly. and I just did it right. So yeah. and I rolled a bunch. Of, I kept rolling really well. And, yeah. and Gary was like, "You the just dice keep rolling like exactly what you need." And I'm yeah. like, "Okay." But so I I need to go to another go before I I really talk much more about it. It seems a little weird, a little awkward. There was some setup stuff I didn't really get. Yeah. But um, it looks cool. And it, it I I I want to give it another try. So we did that, and then we did a game of Exceed, uh-huh. which I lost horribly. Yeah, it, the um, that's the fighting. It's one. the fighting card, the card game. Fighting it's, game. It's, it's a in which I'd out. like to play. Yeah, I've heard it's about weird. It. I I kind of I picked a random character. It was some kind of demony looking guy. I didn't get his name, but he like his whole thing was stealing cards and then using using that as some kind of power. I don't know. I didn't really feel like get it. And he was playing a a, a character who had her had a, is a woman who has a a a wolf named Bear. <laughs> Uh-huh. And it was all very confusing. <laughs> and uh, and the wolf could jump around as well and, and attack me, and it was really frustrating. And and she kind of played distance, and then I, my character was like, get up close, and I could never – It took. He kept, she kept pushing me and keeping me from getting close. Yeah. And so I was like – I ended up doing terribly. Yeah. And I really didn't care for the character. I, I didn't really feel like what I knew what I was doing. And, that, and like any fighting game like that, you, it – it really pays to know the card. Yeah. I'm, I was rusty. I hadn't played it in a while. I didn't remember the base card. So mm-hmm. I was just like, ah, and I didn't do very well. Yeah. I kind of wish I had just gone back and played the president guy, the politician mm-hmm. guy that I liked that I played the first two times. That yeah. I really you were just it. trying to, you were trying to branch out. I was out, trying to branch out and, and it end screwed up, you. <laughs> and I, 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 I don't think I was really in the right, quite right mode to play that game yeah. yet again. So I, I need, I wasn't prepared. Yeah. And so I basically did terrible at a couple of games. Yeah. <laughs> it's more or less. Yes. Well, uh, oh, but it was it was fun. All me and John were having a blast with yeah. our guild ball. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, and then we did all that, and then we get went to PAX. Yeah. We had a lot of fun at PAX. I yeah. saw a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. I met t- some really nice, cool people. Yeah. Uh, uh, we 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 talked to. It's just a lot of random. Little yeah. You know, random people. Where random people we talked yeah. to. Uh, people we met in the elevator or hanging yeah. out lines <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, they there's it's been there, it was there last year. It was there this year. It was called True Dungeon. Yes, and it's basically like kind not kind of a LARP, but I didn't really yeah. know what it was. But yeah, I, oh, I didn't either. Get, you have to, to yeah. cost forty bucks. Yeah, to buy cost a ticket. A, yeah, to, oh, an extra money 30. to get a ticket within the packs to go to do it. And I was like, okay, but you know, what is it? Uh, it's always just a, a, a sign in the them doors, and yeah. it, it, there are people going in. I don't know what it is. Well, we were, we were waiting in line to see Pat to get an autograph from Pat Patty Rothfuss. Rothfuss. from Pat Rothfuss. Patty Rothfuss. and uh, sitting behind us was this uh, lovely lovely lady named Hannah uh-huh. who has a wonderful palindromic name, and I like that. Uh-huh. Uh, who who had played it with yeah. her husband and some friends? Mm. Uh, well, no, no, well, and a random group of people. people. She didn't yeah, know. she didn't know who, and um, she had a blast, and she was she was laying it all out for it. Yeah, and it sounds awesome. It's kind of pretty much. In very simple terms, it's like D and D, but you're. It's walking. like an escape room. In it, it, some it's ways. pretty much in an some escape ways. room you, mixed with D and D. Yeah, and you you make some choices, and then you get then, like item cards, I guess. Yeah, they're tokens. And, and you play item class. tokens. Yeah, you play um, classes, and you so you can you gain tokens. Yeah. Like you get so many when you play. Apparently, you get ten tokens. And yeah, you, when and you they buy have ticket, items and stuff, which you and, can then carry on to other game future. Well, games. yeah, you yeah. can you, you can, can keep them, keep them, and yeah. then you you know when you come if you play another true dungeon you can use them again yeah. and so and you like a character building yeah uh, and it, but basically you there's like so many rooms and yeah. there, you there choose, were seven yeah seven rooms yeah and, then and you could choose whether to do the combat hit more yeah. combat focused 
path or, or the more puzzle. Basically, yeah. just the number of puzzle rooms yeah, you get. Yeah, there's, of combat there's room. three and four yeah. of each of them. And depending on yeah. which one you choose, it will be four yeah. puzzles or three, yeah. and three and, combats or four combat and three Yeah, three and she, she was talking about they were, She didn't really go into what the puzzles were. I meant to ask, but uh, as a pro one who loves puzzle games, yeah. I, I, I meant to ask what the puzzle was, but I, you know, I'll have to learn yeah. later. But uh, apparently, the co- I was, main thing I was worried about, wondering about is why this combat. Is it like LARPing with a bunch of foam yeah. sword, which I was less interested in? Yeah, that's But then she lame. told us it has some kind of shuffleboard mm-hmm. type mechanic where everyone pushes their little shuffleboard thing and trying to get it in a little puck kind yeah, of thing. into a certain area. And if you miss, your teammate can bump you in and stuff. Yeah, it's and, like a whole simultaneous And that sounds thing. awesome. It sounds pretty good. And I'm like, and then that coupled with the fact that this year's True Dungeon at PAX South was based in the uh, King Killer Chronicles realm. Uh, Patty with book. that Pat Rothfuss has written, and he uh-huh. helped develop it. And it, I'm like, oh, I've, once I heard, I had heard about that uh-huh. earlier, and I'm like, well, shit, I wish now I wish I had done it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, and, but it, it's forty it's extra money or... on top of all the other stuff you already yeah. paid for. It. So I, I don't know. It's something you know. Next year we'll try to do definitely it. Definitely have to try. Try to do it and, next and, year. Uh, and I, if it's there, I and, assume and, it, it yeah. was there last year. And it was there this year. Yeah. So I'm yeah. sure it will be something different, but it will be along the same line. Yeah. And I wanted yeah. to thank Palindromic Hannah for for <laughs> laying it out for us, and giving yeah. us giving us the the lowdown on yeah. what 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 is in there, what is in that hidden room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I also want to apologize because we probably rambled a lot while we were talking to her. And yeah. We, oh yeah. I mean no. you. No, I do that anyway. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and then you know we met uh, Paul Patrick Dean. Th- well, oh, yeah, well, we, we already we talked. We Paul talked Dean. extensively about Pat Rothfuss. Okay, but we met him again. We, yeah, I know, and, and so, it was cool. I didn't blank out this time. Yes, um, you're. you're I was now. very jittery afterwards. Uh, yeah, you're. You're so weird. I don't. I, uh, I don't. I don't do I this did, normally. Yeah. I am normally not like. Well, I mean, you didn't. I don't do that get when star we met Paul Dean. <laughs> no, but I. I I, I felt more like he was he was less godlike. Than, he's than more Pat our equal. He's more our, our equal. Maybe a little higher. A little higher. He's, he's got, a he's, step up. He's a step, step above us. He's only a couple of tiers above us. People know Pat who Roth he is. Pat is in the stratosphere. <laughs> um, and uh, I, you know, I, I, and I, he's just a man and with and, a big glorious beard and who and who put some words together really well. <laughs> you made a combination of words that we that like. I, re- and I, I I mean, I get it. Yeah, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, I chose the moment to uh, no. ask him about uh, TAC. Uh, his, 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 the board game that has his name on it. Yeah. I was, I was curious. Which is also based off, in, which off is, it from, uh, yeah, the King Con- Killer. Uh, yeah, it comes out of that series. Yeah. Which uh, we talked about. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, I was curious how involved he was yeah. in the production of it. Yeah. Or the, uh, uh and he kind of gave us the lowdown real yeah. quick. Real brief. We didn't have a lot. Well, of it's more or less what we wait, what like, we he, suspected. Yeah, he he, he developed the, idea, the and he knew all the elements he wanted. Yeah. and he told and so the road building was. Yeah. he definitely knew that's what he wanted. Yeah. A path to be made. Yeah, uh, and the mechanics of yeah. you know, stacking uh, yeah. pieces of wood, and then let someone else figure out how to make that into yeah. a real and game. Yeah, and then uh, 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 I I forgot the guy's name. J is something Ernest. Yeah, I um, don't. Uh, I can look it up. Look it up real quick. But uh, he actually went and. Figured out, r- mm. figured out the actual mechanics of it all, and and so he he didn't. James really have, Ernest. James Ernest. I was yeah. right. James Ernest. You said uh, Jason. I said James. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you just can't hear. I, um, well, yeah. James Ernest uh, took it and ran with it, and yeah. and, and made the game. And of course, it's being his thing. It, he had to sign off on it. Oh yeah, everything. of course. But, so you know, he's yeah. got his name on it, which he should. Yeah. Uh, um, and it's it's. A fantastic yeah. game, and we thanked him for it. Yeah, um, but so. yeah, what I was saying was, it's like I don't, I don't get really starstruck. Uh-huh. I've met some, some, you know, celebrities here and there, and uh-huh. it's, it's cool. But I don't really get. It's some of, well, one is authors. I, I, I have just like the, a weird respect for authors. Uh, I got a little <laughs> that. Way. I did the same stop. thing when I met George R. R. Martin. I was just like, yeah. uh, and uh, but yeah, I just. I, I don't know what to say to them, and I don't I don't want to sound weird. 
And I, but I don't want to sound like a creepy fan, but I don't want to be like, but I want them to know I appreciate it. So I usually leave it as like, I like what you do. I love what you do, and I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry for this erection. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry for this awkward thing that's between us right now. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I want to be respectful. I want to treat them, like, give them, you know, not harass them, and I'm yeah. sure they get shit all the time. Yeah, I'm and, sure. And I don't want to bug them about it, but I just, you know, I want them, I just, you I want, want to, to be you, their friend. You, want to, <laughs> <laughs> you just want to hang out with them all yeah. the time. I mean, uh, I did, we did see Pat Ruff is at the merch line, yeah. and I was just like, you restrained I did, yourself? I restrained. I didn't go up to him, even though I wanted to, but I had nothing to say to him. I didn't know what to say. Yeah. I was just like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, it, it was just great. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. We saw oh. some friends. We saw we saw we talked to random new people that we just you know, yeah yeah it was awesome. It, it's always fun. Um, it's a little different this year with a, a, a smaller group of us yeah. going, yeah. but uh, we got to experience some some. Uh, smaller games, yeah, which, uh, was, which is, is great. Good, um, yeah. and uh, yeah, and then you know we we weren't trying to hook up with people all the time. Mm-hmm. We're just or well, not hook up. That's not the right term. No, we weren't trying that, to meet up with other term. people all the time. That we're off somewhere else. It was just me and you, and we yeah. wander around. We yeah. kind of just. You know, we walked a lot. Yeah, I, I did. You know, usually we we talked about this a little bit. Um, is that we end up a lot of times at PAX, we end up just kind of hovering in the tabletop game area, and mm-hmm. we end up just playing a lot of those games. Yeah, because it, they're a little less accessible for us. I think we don't have a place where we can just go try as games out. Yeah, yeah. Very often. I mean that's, that's what and that's and what so we want. like we look we at the, try the, the video games. games and stuff, which we love as well, and we love seeing new stuff. But a lot of times we like okay, I can see that almost anywhere and check mm-hmm. it out. While you know it. Getting my hands on a board game and trying it without yeah, unless to one of our buy friend it. buys it yeah. or you know owns it, we, so we tend to just can't really play it. Yeah, um, so unless they send us yeah, one. Yeah, as far as the game video game front, uh, I I kind of just keep an eye out for stuff that catches my yeah. interest, and I go and, and watch people play stuff. it. And I'll, There's I'll lots check of it out. stuff. But yeah, I I made a list of the things that I am going to keep an eye on. It will lay it on me. Uh, they're all uh, they're all things that aren't out yet. They're all coming out this year. Okay. Uh, but so let me let me go through them. Um, the from Eleven Bit Studio. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a game called Frostpunk. Frostpunk. Yes. It's a snowy survival strategy city building game. Yeah, it looked interesting. It looks really cool. I I I kind of got a just a vague just uh, yeah. from reading the description on yeah. it, and it kind of looks. Yeah, I was why I several times uh, throughout the whole whole event, I I would stop there and watch people playing it. Yeah, and it looked really interesting, and it looks pretty, and I like I like the style. I like the I I like I like the uh, survival in strategy. Yeah, I the like city, city building it, survival. It, yeah, combination it's an is interesting, interesting kind. Of, you're it's you're somehow, different than yeah. You're trying like, to survive some kind of winter wasteland. And yeah. And, uh, it's all like and steam it's power. Not like a it's person. all steampunk it's, it's, stuff. Yeah, it's, it looks cool. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting concept. Yeah, and I, I I'm curious about it. And yeah, we'll, whenever I guess it fully comes out. We yeah, it's not out yet. It's it's uh, I, I, uh, on Steam. It didn't have a date yet. Okay, uh, it just said 2018 uh, is all I know. Yeah, and the same company uh, had a game called Moonlighter. Moonlighter looks good. It, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's a kind gorgeous. Of, game. Yeah, we saw a ton of games like this. Like the, they are very much the kind of top down Zelda, Link, Zelda Link to the Past type fantasy esque. type stuff. Yeah. Esta. But all of them, a lot of them look really good. And uh, I, the this one, kept, kept, I kept coming back and watching, other, wanting to see more of it. It's, and I read up on more on it. And it's an action RPG. Uh-huh. And the story is called Moonlighter because the story is about a shopkeeper. Who's uh. moonlighting, trying to be like a hero? Oh, so the yeah. guy gave Link the sword. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now he's, he's like, like, I, I want to go. Screw this! I'm yeah. taking the sword and yeah. going fighting stuff myself. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, I'm like, oh, that's a cool little story idea, and it yeah. ah, it looks beautiful. It's a gorgeous game. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna get it, a chance. Yeah. Go go watch some videos. Yeah. On it's it. all. It you can go on Steam and look, check it out, and look at uh, um, videos and stills of it. It looks pretty. It's pretty. I want to. I want. I want to see how it. You know, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Those, yeah, that definitely something. That I a like lot of, a lot of. Uh, w- one thing, if for sure, on a lot of these indie games we see is that the art is always pretty. You, yeah, usually ninety percent of the time it's good. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful game, and I guess, yeah. and that's what hooks you. It gets you. Oh in yeah, there, I guess. Yeah, I mean that's that's a big selling point, mm-hmm. and they can kind of do something a little more stylized. Yeah, and I I enjoy a good style. Yeah. Um, what else you got? Okay, the, these two are from a company called Finji. Finji. F I N J I. Okay. And they had two games that I saw there that they were demoing. Um, both of them come out later this year at some point. Um, 
the over Overland is one of them. Uh huh. And it's a kind of a survival. I just from what I looked at it, it uh, it looks like a survival game, like a post apocalyptic survival game of some kind. Yeah. Uh, with a lot of L- XCOM elements. Yeah, it's like it's like you're, you have a, like a little scene. Yeah. Like uh, you're looking isometric, looking down, uh-huh. and you have this little scene, and then it's like it looks like it had XCOM type, you know, m- m- turn based well, yeah, movement stuff, movement and where you're moving. And I guess things. I never did see any combat or anything. I just saw a glimpse of it. It was beautiful though. Yeah, it's it looked pixel really art, cool. Uh, and uh, style. And uh, yeah, it's not pixel art. Not, it's Maybe not I'm really getting pixel mixed art. Yeah, uh, it it. I don't know what to call it, but it, it it's uh, isometric. It's yeah, it was a little. It's isometric, kind of top, you know, down. Um, X, it very XCOM, except in less less of a. It didn't have like really big areas, uh, maps. It had like just little, like little vignettes. Vignettes, yeah, yeah, that's a good word for it. Little vignettes where it like the map, the edge of the map is cut off, but it's just like you're looking at a gas station, and yeah. I guess you're you're exploring, and I I don't know if it's zombies or monsters. I don't know what you're 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 surviving, yeah. trying to hide from, or other ra- evil people. I don't know, but just the style, and you know, I love that the little XCOM tactics. Oh yeah. Yeah. kind of set up I yeah. like that a lot and so I was just like um, I was on board just uh-huh. looking at that little yeah, bit yeah I saw it. Like, it it looks it intrigued me yeah. but it, it wasn't enough to go up st- to, to been too much time. Yeah, I, 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 it looked good. But their other game, I think, looks even better. And what's that? Uh, it's called Tunic. Yes, and it's an isometric adventure. An isometric, isometric yeah. adventure game mm-hmm. with about a fox. A fox. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it, who the, looks uh, like the poster like, alone? I was like, uh-huh. I, and I it's, it's not that. like you're running around on all fours. This is an upright, you know, yeah, uh, uh, bipod. A, yeah, anthropomorphic. Is that anthropomorphic the word? fox Bi- wearing cl- uh, like a tunic. I guess, yeah. uh, and carrying a sword. And yeah, he looks like he's like <sighs> impersonating Zelda. In fact, when I saw the poster, I was Link. like, "Oh, this is Link." Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I think, yeah, uh-huh. Link. And uh, I thought, "Oh, it's it's gonna be a a, a Zelda like kind of game." And when I, I looked at it, it, it looked completely different. Yeah, it's I'm way like, more oh, than this that. Looks yeah, it's way more than really, that. It looks really good. It looks good. It's the art was amazing. beautiful. Like Overland looked good. Uh, Moonlight, all those look really good, but yeah. that one I think might take my, it my, my, my as favorite. Far as art, it looked art amazing. Style. I think it's out of those four. I'm gonna keep an eye on all of them. I'm probably eventually check them out. Yeah, but I think that one might get my money first. Yeah, uh, but it looked good. Yeah, oh, it looked beautiful. Yeah, and again, I don't. I'm not sure when these are coming out. I'm not sure if they have yeah. release dates we'll yet. Ha- but we'll they're all. They'll be. We'll keep an eye out. We'll let y'all know if we when they arrive. If we and never uh, talk about it again, we never bought them. Yeah, <laughs> or we forgot about it, which or, is yeah. likely. I'm gonna put it on my uh, wish list. I on the on my notes forever. I've had this little wish list of yeah. games I'd like to get, and I don't. I haven't bought most of them. Most of them have been on here for a long time. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, I want to. I'm gonna add it to my we list. Did of things. like wish list like. In yeah. year one? <laughs> yeah, we haven't done wish lists since, like, while. the first couple of months. But anyway, I, I have my list of games to keep an eye out for yeah. and, and think about. So uh, I'm going to put that on there. Yes. Um, cool. Yeah. Um, any other games you want to talk um, about? From I think that covered up everything. I'm sure there was stuff I saw I just forgot. I just forgot to make a note of. Yeah. There was so much stuff. Yeah. There was just always. stuff everywhere. I didn't even realize there was a new Dead Rising come out, and I didn't even see it until... Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was uh, Sunday or mm. Saturday, like, late. I just happened to walk behind the Capcom uh, yeah. giant dragon, and yeah. I saw it. I was like, oh, there's games back here, mm-hmm. and it was uh, Dead Rising 4. Yeah. Didn't even know there was another one coming out. I didn't out. know that. So, yeah, so that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. I, have, I like the first one. Yeah. Um. So that was good. That was there. Yeah. Uh, it's just, just so much. Yeah, it's, it's so hard to take it all in, and well, it, we, it, it's we, just a joy. It's like Sunday... <laughs> We were walking around uh, and just kind of, you know, killing some time. And I saw a booth that had old games. I was like, I completely never saw this. Yeah. And it was you right there. You walked through the floor like four or five times and, and still you missed stuff. Walk past time. the same spot you've gone through a bunch yeah. of times and still catch something you didn't notice before. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's just, it happens. Yeah. Lot. Um, but it, it's it's nice. It's so dense and full, and uh-huh. and, and, and yeah. lots to see, lots uh, of yeah. people, and lots. there's something for everybody. Yeah. If you like games of any kind, yeah, there's PAX is the, PAX is the yeah, place goes to go. Into if, one you, near you. if you can, yeah, if you get an opportunity, go to a PAX that's close yeah. to you. If it'll, if you yeah. like games, you will enjoy it. Hopefully, more of our friends will join us next year. Yeah, but you know, a lot yeah. of them are were losers this year. They yeah. didn't want to come. Even though us. we we offered, they we could offered to get chair bed with us. Maybe that's what put it off. 
They maybe maybe they were like, like, eh. like, oh yeah, I'll go to pack. Oh, I have to share a room and yeah. possibly a, a a bed with. No, yeah. I but think I'm gonna pack. I mean, I, most I, of them had you know what? Money's re- money's real tight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, well, you want to cover uh, any news? Let's what, cover some going? news because mm-hmm. there's some stuff I want to talk about. Yeah. Specifically, the big one for me last week. Specifically. Specifically. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said it the way I wanted okay, to say it. Sure. All right. Um. Uh, Nintendo put out a little Nintendo Direct Mini. Thing, yeah, yeah, a, little, a little video, stuff on it. like just um, dumped a bunch of without announcing or yeah, letting anyone know, no up. heads up, just hey, there's a thing that shows what's coming up. Yeah, in fact, yeah. I didn't know about it until Gary had. Uh, yeah, sent Gary us a text started about sending it. us stuff, dumping it on us too. Like, um, whoa, whoa! <laughs> the the big thing on it, everything else, whatever. They, there's a DLC for Mario Odyssey. Yeah, and, which looks Luigi interesting. Adds like a multiplayer balloon element, searching yeah, with, thing, which looks kind of cool with Luigi. With Luigi in the game. Yeah. Stuff. that's cool. That's fine. cool. It's free. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, but at the very end of it, there was a little teaser trailer uh-huh. for Dark Souls remastered. remastered, coming to Switch. Yeah. It's also coming to the other next gen. Yeah, but whatever. But it is and coming to the Switch. It's coming to the Switch, which is really cool. It's just pretty good. Because uh, really I'd good. like to play that again. I I am torn. I want to play it again yeah. because this is a wonderful game. It, it is. is and it's, it's, a, it's uh, the level design is fantastic. It is. And I would not play it. And I don't think I ever played a DLC on it, so I'm not. Sh- I'm not really sure. I've, about that. I've started it, and I, and I was like, "This is hard." Yeah. And I, I didn't finish it. Um, the but one, there's one fight in it that's insane, and I oh, yeah. just could not beat it. So I don't think I ever did that. With the build but, I was playing with. Yeah. Um. But. It, and then also for archive, I, archival purposes on my part, not really archival, but <laughs> like uh, extension of having copies to play. Uh, the because the, my I played on Xbox 360, mm-hmm. and I the other ones I played on PC, but that one I played on Xbox, mm-hmm. and my Xbox doesn't work anymore. So oh, you're. Oh yeah, I that, didn't know your Xbox. It does. Work. It crashes. Oh, okay. I, I don't. I haven't it's been using. Worth, I, I don't yeah. really play it really more. We Mine's were using, not even plugged in. <laughs> yeah, we would use it to stream stuff on off every once in a while, but then it kind of kept locking up and shutting Probably off. Probably update. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Um. So it doesn't really necessarily work anymore, and I don't really want to hook it up just to play some old game. Yeah. So it's nice to have it. I thought about buying an up the up, the the PC port, which mm-hmm. here is just okay. It's got a little a little. Buggy yeah. and a little uh, but it's limited. But the remaster's coming. To yeah, PC as so well, so you, that might be an option. Yeah, and so I, yeah, I'm I'm kind of I kind of want to get it just to have it. Yeah, and I wouldn't mind replaying it, but I oh, I haven't finished Dark Souls three, so I kind of yeah. part of me felt like, well, if I'm gonna uh, play Dark I'm, Souls, I just need to go play Dark Souls three. It doesn't Souls come 3. out for but, a little while. Yeah, we got. Like, who knows what, when it's coming? I don't know. I don't uh, think it had a date on it. I think it did. It's March, like March, March, May, March, somewhere around there. I think it's March. Yeah. Uh, so we got a little while, yeah, to uh, uh, to wait, and uh, um, I can put. I think it's May. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Later, uh, this, later this this year, in middle of this year, uh, and so yeah. But and also the concept of I can play Dark Souls wherever I yeah. am, and I like that. I so I, I I'm gonna get it. Let's be yeah. honest. I, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Too, yeah, so it was gonna be awesome, uh, and we yeah. can play the multiplayer. And it wasn't even something I knew I needed. And we can we can join each other. You know, you know, we, 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 that day that when something comes up that shows you something you need and you didn't know you needed it. Yeah, and that's you really, what you don't even really need it, but no, you no. tell yourself you need it. No, but and you're gonna, gonna <laughs> well, when they said it. a dark, I never even considered putting a Dark Souls game on the Switch yeah. until that happened, and they were like, "Oh, you were bringing Dark Souls One to the Switch," and I'm like. I needed that. That's what I wanted. That. Exactly. That's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I need. Now they just need to put Bloodborne on there so that I can actually no, that's have, not gonna have a console to play it. Because that, that's pretty hard exclusive to yeah. PlayStation. Mm, it'll, it'll crack one day. Maybe. We'll see. But it's not, they'll, they'll get an like iPad version. Too. What? <laughs> what? That's not even... That's just bullshit. <laughs> There's not, no way that's happening. No um, um, so Super Meat Boy came out on Switch... Oh really? Yeah, and apparently it's selling like crazy, like close to like, like original, hotcakes? like close to the original Xbox 360 launch. Really? Numbers, wow. Um, and like they're selling so well, they were they were shocked at how well they're selling. Um, so I was like, oh, that's interesting. Uh huh. So people really wanted Super Meat Boy on yeah. uh, on a Switch. Yeah. Which um, I'm not gonna get. I have it on PC. 
I yeah, I've played your copy, I think. Oh, or I, or I played yours. It's one or the one way or the other. I don't think I own it. Yeah, so one of us own it. it. I don't think I actually own it. I think it's yours. Yeah. Um, um yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That, I mean that it, it's, it's a, a platformer. The Switch is constantly Switch is getting great first platform. Oh, yeah. And so. it's got a little indie games and stuff, but the yeah. Switch is perfect for it. I love it. Yeah. Um, I love it. <laughs> um the last bit of news I want to talk about uh-huh. is uh they've announced uh, at it's CES the yeah yeah the, the little gadgets the, and the gadget ca- convention where uh, what it actually stands well, for Well they but. have a uh, they've announced the Vive Pro Yes. Yes, and I saw this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's got like higher resolution screen. Yeah, the the screens are a little like 78% higher resolution. Yeah. Um, um which, which is the main thing I want out of it. But uh, I've read another deal saying that it doesn't change it that much. Yeah. Like, it it, it makes it's more like pixels. The, it's more pixels, and it makes it less noticeable. Yeah. Like, the, yeah. the weird vision thing. Yeah. But, but it's still not, it's like apparently not really worth, like, it's not yeah. enough to really may not warrant like, it. Uh, well, well it, if you still have a, have a vibe already, you don't you need don't to You don't need up. to upgrade. But it, it looks basically. like, yeah, it comes with the pro audio strap. Yeah, it comes and, with the mic. It, it has a microphone in. in it. It yeah. has yeah, it has a microphone built in it, which uh-huh. is a nice thing. Yeah, it's like a dual uh, mic thing. Yeah, it has a, do- a stereo mic, and then it has a it has two cameras on the front now. Yeah. and they look like they're lower down, so it looks like they maybe yeah, actually I line up better with your eyes. I think the idea is that they're to to do, they'll better fit for like uh, augmented reality stuff. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, so it can you can, yeah that the camera will project yeah. on your eyes, and then you. I, I'm curious. I bet because that it is a little weird when you go to the camera screen, yeah. and I kind of you know it's a little Probably off. It's a little because it's it's a little higher than your normal eyes, and so it's a little awkward. But uh, and of course the fish eyingness of it yeah. a little bit. But um, adding two, adding two, I think more realistic. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. I, it, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how. how see, it, apparently, the, the the reasoning is for AR augmented yeah. reality. Yeah, kind which of is stuff, which uh, would be would interesting. Be really cool. It, yeah. it it opens up the uh, open the door for other. Yeah. Potential. As much as I love VR stuff, I am super intrigued by pot- what the potential of AR stuff. Yeah, I, augmented reality stuff fascinates me. Yeah, as well. uh, imagine what yeah. what 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 you could spawn in your yeah. room. Well, yeah, and and you know it's like well uh, with Google Glass where you kind of had a little yeah. bit of that stuff, and you know it didn't really go. I don't think because uh, they they were smart it about like, it. They did kind of some social experiments of yeah. putting it out there and see how how because it's it's something new like that. You don't really under, well, there's know, privacy. Stuff yeah, there's a that. lot of privacy stuff where you have cameras pointing everywhere you're looking all the all time. the time, and I don't think it really worked that well. Uh, no, well, but, it, it made companies uh, a lot of companies in, uh, implemented uh, policy. Of yeah, no against where. Yeah, about uh, against recording and against uh, like movie theaters and stuff like that, yeah. where you couldn't walk in wearing them, which is only becomes an issue with a lot, when a lot of people tie them to their actual glasses. Yeah, uh, I don't want a camera on the front of my glasses. I just want the heads-up display. I would love. I would love that. I don't really need the camera. I would I mean, love I got a, a phone little, for that. Why do I need one on my? Yeah, on exactly. My face. I don't want. I don't need the camera pointing everywhere I'm looking. Yeah. I just want a. A little heads up display built in. Now, if cool. I'm going to wear these damn glasses, <laughs> I would like a heads up display. Yeah. Thank you. Just projected right on the lens. Yeah, just on the good. lens or whatever. I don't know. Make it work. Make yeah. it so. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. That they, would be... I mean, you got two lenses, so they could do it like a, a you know, a 3D augmented reality. Yeah. You know, so it's like, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know um, if you're also, doing over that, but okay. Because uh, you got two eyes. You can yeah. make it look like it's floating in front of you instead oh, yeah. of just being oh, yeah. on the glass. The, the 3D yeah. three-dimensional yeah. stuff. Um, uh, the, uh, and then also announced the Vive wireless adapter. So yes. So you can With, get that you a little years. little antlers. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, you get a, an, another, I, I guess, receiver that you put on the wall, and then uh, this little thing that attaches to the top of your, your strap. And, and then you don't have to give you a little cord. antler. And you don't got a cord. Which is pretty Which cool. Which is really cool. Uh, I'm I'm curious what some of them, maybe if it need, it has more re- hardware requirements or not. Wait, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, but I'm wondering. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious how well it works. And, and battery pack. Yeah, yeah how, how long battery life is on yeah. it and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's something else you have yeah. to charge, but, but it'd be nice not having to have but, a cord. Yeah, your legs. I mean, and even then the cord stuff isn't that bad. No, like, I mean, I didn't I get hardly up. notice it Yeah, when you I was get used lines. to it and you, you kind of get don't get to where you don't notice it much. Yeah. Um, but it would be really cool, I, the freedom. Yeah, uh, and so you know, I'll keep an eye. I'm, I'm sure it'll come out as a separate. Accessory. It, yeah, it comes out. They're both coming out 
around quarter three. So, okay, so you know, it's a little ways off. Still, you know, summer. Yeah, somewhere or sometime in that. Yeah, late range. summer. Unless it gets pushed back. Yeah, which uh, could happen. it could happen. Uh, uh, so yeah, I, it'll definitely be something I will look at for yeah. adding to mine if if I had the money yeah. and because uh, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. If you got it, yeah, just flaunt uh, it. Yeah, if you uh, got it, flaunt it. All uh, right. Um, but yeah, that was really all the news yeah. I had. I mean, there was some other little Nintendo Direct mm-hmm. stuff, but minor. You yeah. know, Donkey Kong game mm-hmm. and, and you know just you know you can go watch that video. Yeah, if you want to go find check out that stuff out. Yeah, look, the, uh, the Donkey Kong game looks really good. Yeah, Donkey Kong. Yeah. it's always fun. Oh uh, yeah. Um, um. Okay. Well, you know, we we put out a lot of content this weekend. Yeah, we can, we, we, we put can. a whole hour extra uh-huh. content. So yeah. You know, enjoy. Uh, enjoy. I, and listen to us. Uh, and we hope that, you know, next year we'll be at PAX again. We always, we plan to keep yeah, going. Yeah, unless as long we're as just they, completely and so some, Yeah, and unless something crazy happens that keeps us from going, we will probably be back next year. Yes. So if you're going to so. go, you should go. And you come hang out and we can play games. And yeah. we can, you know. We, so we definitely. Like meeting people. And yeah, we like, people. love mis- meeting people and we love playing games. Yeah. So um, uh, it's always fun. And if you're a new listener and you discovered us or you yeah, ended up with one of our cards. Up, yeah, one of our cards or, you know. Welcome to welcome, the show. Welcome to the show. This is 100. You can just start here. You can. You don't have to go back. You don't Most go back. Are, are, unless you time set. So just just start here. It's fine. Yeah, we say a lot of dumb stuff. So you know, maybe you don't want to go back and listen to some of the old. Well, well, I haven't. That's for sure. Well, yeah. So uh, welcome just to the show. Download them anyway. Yeah, you don't for, have to listen to them. <laughs> it looks you're good new, that you download them. If you're new, welcome to the show. Welcome. We put one new one out every Monday. Every Monday. And uh, you know, yeah, go to our website. <laughs> at deafanddumb.com D-E-A-F-N-D-U-M-B dot com mm-hmm. and uh, you know follow us on Facebook uh, I thought some people did already yeah um, the and fo- you can follow us on Twitter but our deaf and dumb at deaf and dumb pod mm-hmm. and then uh, at Daniel W. May for me and at at Dudley underscore May. At Dudley uh, underscore May for that Dud. That is on Instagram and Twitter. So yeah. you can follow me both those. Yeah, you can watch him on Instaham. Insta-ham and uh, I'm not on Instaham, yeah. but uh, I am on Twitter. Yeah. And I try to, I I'm usually trying post to be better at that active. game for yeah. playing on Instagram. But yeah. So um, I've tied it to Twitter now, yeah. so it should pop up at both. Yeah, but, but feel free to message us and uh, shoot us an email. We have an email account on our, on our website. Uh, you can email and just... Let us know what you think and keep keep listening. We yeah. we love and subscribe, subscribe to us and all that. Yeah, stuff. all that stuff. You can find us everywhere. Yeah, and uh, yeah, happy one hundred episode. Dylan. Yes, we're Good now year. congratulations. Uh, we made it this far. Yeah, well, uh, we got four more episodes and yeah. we've done two years. Yeah, so, so we got the two year marker coming up. Uh, we're we're gonna keep doing this mm-hmm. uh, until we die. Nine hundred more. <laughs> no, not nine. Nine hundred. No, I don't know if I want to. I'm, I want a thousand episodes. A thousand. I want to get to the point where We're my go number, I, where where you know our our naming convention for the for the file only has enough room for for three characters <laughs> for the no, episode number. Yeah. So I want to get to the point where I have to change it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like nine hundred ninety nine. All right, I got to change the naming convention. To no, we're just gonna stop. We're not gonna do a thousand. We can't <laughs> continue. Uh, we'll do it. We'll just cancel this show and do a new one. <laughs> Deaf and Dumb Two. Yeah, the reckoning. That'd be like twenty years. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the math. I mean, it's fifty-two episodes a year. Yeah. so you know that's it's two a, years. a little less than twenty years. It's, yeah, it's gonna be a while. So before we get to that, if yeah. we live that long. Yeah, sure. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not. Maybe optimistic. we'll stop playing games by then. No, that's not gonna. That's happen. never gonna happen. Well, thank you very much. I'm Dan May, and I'm Dudley May, and this has been Deaf and Dumb.